Hello planners and transport nerds and today I'm in the town of Warwick but I must confess before I got here I cheated. I actually drove because good luck trying to get to Warwick without a car. It's not the easiest thing to do. It's technically possible but just not practical and in a few minutes we're going to jump on a bus and have a look around town because there is a little local bus service here operated by Hadley's Coaches. So come and join me for the ride. Once on board, the first thing that I noticed is that the rear half of the bus is roped off. I've never seen that before, but I guess they're just trying to limit passenger numbers. Today's bus is an MAN 18.280 HOCL-NL, fitted with a Body by Custom Coaches, built in 2007. This bus has a Custom Coaches CB60 EVO 2 body, outfitted with Metro Bench seats. As with most buses in family-owned businesses, this one is clean, tidy, and kept in excellent condition. The interior is finished in a blue cloth with a mix of red, yellow, and green shapes creating a nice pattern. It's nothing too flash, but it breaks up the sea of blue cloth. The handrails are left in a polished stainless steel finish rather than being painted. There are an adequate number of stop bells, however the next stop indicator light is rather small. Whilst the bus was fairly comfortable, the years have given it a chance to develop a few shakes and rattles. If you're already familiar with chassis codes, you might have already guessed the power output of this bus. MAN gives you 280 horsepower to play with and 1100 newton meters of torque from a 6.9 litre diesels. Those numbers aren't bad, but they don't compare favourably with modern buses. Still, it's perfectly adequate for a quiet regional bus service. So let's have a little bit of a listen. As Warwick is beyond the go-card network, I had to buy a paper ticket for this trip. The round trip cost me $5.20, which is quite normal for these sorts of regional bus services. One thing I found surprising about Warwick is there seems to be a fair bit of housing construction going on. Many regional towns are struggling to keep people, but if new houses are going up, it suggests that the situation is much the opposite. As a planner, it's always exciting to see new infrastructure, and filming little vlogs like this is a great excuse to go and see new places and travel on new types of transport. Overall, I really enjoyed my trip with Hadley's Panoramic. They have a few other city buses in their fleet, but unfortunately I didn't see them around town and I didn't get the chance to try any of them out. Hopefully, next time I will. I always enjoy catching regional buses as they're really interesting and they give you a good feel for the towns they serve. As I wait to grab the all-important shot of the bus leaving, check out this really old timetable. Is that a mid-1980s Toyota Coaster down there? Thank goodness we have moved on from providing minibuses like that for our route services. Don't worry, I didn't come to Warwick just to ride on the Hadley's bus. Even I, a massive transport nerd, had to do something else whilst in town. So I went for a bit of a walk, which of course, I brought my camera along for. First, let's start with a couple of aesthetically pleasing panorama shots. And the excitement of finally getting a coffee in Warwick, after just over two hours of driving. 
on my way to the park, I decided to make a quick detour. Because when you come to a small country town in Queensland, you expect to see lots of dual cab utes, lots of land cruisers, and lots of big SUVs. But I saw something just over on the other side, which you really don't expect to see. And it's a good thing. So let's pop over and check it out right now. After checking out the EV charging station, I went for a wander to check out some lovely tree-lined streets, this old courthouse, and finally, I made my way through to the local park. Fortunately, it is quaint, cute, and has lots of open space, as well as some great areas for the kids to play. I can confirm that the playground was well used, and that there were loads of families and kids enjoying it, but you'll have to take my word for it. Alrighty, so I'm almost at the car. It's time to head back to Brisbane. Thanks for joining me on Talking Planning and I'll see you next time. Before we actually end the video, I'd like to say a big thank you to my mate Sam who made this cool new little intro clip. In fact, let's just watch it again now. So I'm really stoked that Sam went to all that effort and I'd like to say thank you so much. And now we can end the video.